So what's the most effective treatment or prevention for osteopenia or osteoporosis? Is hormone replacement therapy a good way to increase bone mineral density? Well, we're talking today about osteopenia. That's where bone loss starts. Osteopenia is the hollowing out and weakening of your bones. Both men and women, as we get older, start to lose some of our bone density or bone strength. Over time, especially women, tend to get weaker and weaker bones. I'm Steve Hunter from simplehormones.com. I help patients and healthcare practitioners with easy to understand patient education resources. Most of those are about hormone optimization. Well, we've all heard about that woman in her 70s or 80s who fell and broke a wrist or even worse, maybe broke a hip. Sometimes that woman might have to have surgery. She might end up in a rehab facility for a couple of weeks or maybe even longer. In worst case scenario, especially if that woman is older, that woman might have to end up in a long-term care facility or a nursing home. She might even lose her independence and have to live in a nursing home the rest of her life and really lose a lot of her mobility. At the very least, she may have to walk with a cane or walk with a walker. The Women's Health Initiative was a study in the early 2000s that was looking at the impact of hormone replacement therapy on the health of women in menopause. The idea was that menopause takes away some of your hormones, and if we replace those hormones, there might be some long-term health benefits from getting those hormones back. Well, the Women's Health Initiative looked particularly at bone mineral density, as well as broken hips, broken wrists, and other broken bones that happen in women as they age. One group took a combination of menopause hormones called conjugated equine estrogens plus medroxyprogesterone, and the other set of women uh, took a, a placebo. But the report I'm talking about now about osteoporosis that comes out of the WHI is specifically entitled Effects of Estrogen Plus Progestin on Risk Fracture and Bone Mineral Density, the Women's Health Initiative Randomized Trial. So women taking hormones in the trial had higher bone density. Bone mineral density is basically a measure of bone strength. There's a machine, uh, it does a scan called a DEXA scan, and it can either be done on your wrist, it can be done on the heel, and it can be done on the femur, which is basically the, the starting place for hip fractures. Uh, there's also a DEXA scan that can be done on basically all the bones in your whole body if your doctor happens to have one of those machines. So the DEXA scan tests your bone density and gives you what's called a T-score. A T-score that basically the higher the score, the closer your bone density is to as strong as it can be. So women who took hormones in the WHI not only had a higher bone mineral density or T-score, they also had a lower incidence of bone fractures. Sure, some of those women broke bones, but women taking hormones broke fewer bones than women not taking hormones. So because of the perceived risk of breast cancer, doctors were a little concerned about the overall risk for hormones, especially these particular hormones, conjugated equine estrogens and medroxyprogesterone. So the recommendations in this particular study were kind of hesitant to, to say that hormones are an effective treatment for bone density and preventing osteoporosis. One of the most important strategies for increasing bone mineral density and uh, an attempt to prevent osteopenia and osteoporosis has been giving women calcium and vitamin D supplements. The Women's Health Initiative actually had a whole arm that was devoted to calcium and vitamin D supplementation, especially looking at how that might impact bone density and hip fractures and other bone fractures. If you're a patient and you're concerned about your risk for osteopenia or osteoporosis, well, if you fit in that category, you might wanna think about seeing a hormone optimization specialist. That's somebody who can help you optimize your hormones, make sure that your estradiol, first of all, along with testosterone and several other hormones, is not too high, not too low, but just right. If your hormone levels are just right, that really helps to strengthen your bones, give you the highest bone mineral density, the highest T-score that you can have. It also helps prevent bone fractures uh, going into a rehab facility and ultimately ending up in a nursing home. When you optimize all your hormones, it decreases a lot of the symptoms of menopause, things like hot flashes, irritability, weight gain, but it also protects you from long-term disease. 
like osteopenia and osteoporosis. Well, I know a lot of doctors and nurse practitioners all over the country who can help with that kind of stuff. Click the link that says get help with your hormones. Speaking of help, if this video has been helpful at all, click the like and subscribe buttons to get notified anytime I post a new one. The next one's going to be all about calcium and vitamin D in fending off osteopenia and osteoporosis. Thanks so much for watching. I'll be talking with you again soon.